In Grimsby, Enforcement Officer John Waite has a deserved reputation for zero tolerance. Go away. He's Sheriff of Grimsby, and he rather likes the idea of being more John Wayne than John Waite. Today, John has brought his posse to remove some unsightly wagons from a small homestead. Way out west, this kind of thing's been going on for years. There's been a number of warnings about the state of the outside of the property. Some of these vehicles have been here for some 20 years or more. Uh, what we're here for today is to execute a warrant. He failed to comply with what was required, and that was to remove the vehicles. Unfortunately, it's not happened, so we are here, and as you can see, we are taking the vehicles. But homeowner George doesn't quite see this as a stirring tale of the Wild West. I don't agree with it. I think it's all wrong. I can't see as anything as harmful to anybody there. I've been dealt a dumb blow because there might be old vans, but they're all repairable. They could have given me another day and given me a chance and there'd been no need for any of this. The warrant clearly states we have to move the vehicles. So if John decides a shootout would not be appropriate, it's time, he thinks, for a bit of diplomacy. In Grimsby, Enforcement Officer John, that's to say the Sheriff of Grimsby, has instructed his posse to bring some order to the land belonging to the homeowner, George. He's failed to listen to the complaints of his neighbours or the council's warnings to clear the place. He's resisted and he's not going to give up entirely without a fight. I feel like kicking a man when he's down, is there? No, I don't intend to do that. No, you, yeah, you know that we'll offer you every help yes, and you assistance do. that we can. Yeah. We've had promises over the years and they've never been kept to, you know. So if I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt, which I can't, there's nothing to say that in two or three days' time we're not back here revisiting the same situations. The various notices have been served on you and this has now reached a point where it can no longer right. carry on. George is now deep into his anecdotage. A lot of it are tools. I mean, some of this stuff I've had since I, since I left school. It's, it's me, I'll be. It's like people go out drinking, I don't drink. People gamble, people go to football matches. It doesn't interest me. I like to tinker. I'm a tinker. It's my train set. John may have a reputation for being tough, but he also understands how his actions can affect people. What we want to do is, is not only please the masses, which I'm sure we're doing in this case, but it's the individual themselves. I mean, we are talking about an elderly gentleman here. Um, by doing what we've done today, in many respects, we have disrupted his life, albeit for the right reasons and lawful reasons. Um, but he is at least now seeing that it couldn't continue. Uh, and the private conversation I've just had would indicate that, and he really is a much happier person and glad that it's out of sight and out of his way. It's something he no longer has to worry about. John has agreed that George can take back some of the smaller items from the council as long as he stores them out of sight. Diplomacy is working. Now we've got something sorted and I know that I can get the stuff back mm. when I want it back. John even offers to help out with the garden. Well, we're getting there. Once we've completed this bit, we'll come back tomorrow and uh, help George do his garden. Get it a bit tidier for him, weed it, make him proud of it. But that's not an idea that appeals to George. I don't like gardens. I'd sooner have it concrete. George's property now looks fairly normal, so John can turn his attention to a neighbour's garden. So then two are coming as well? Yeah, right? yeah, because that's... Um, right. um, they're George's, but somehow they found their way into his neighbour's garden. OK. It's been a better day than John expected. Peace, not war. Pretty good. It's nice that uh, George has finally accepted and uh, seems to be a much happier man than when we first saw him uh, a few hours ago. And I would think his neighbour's going to be pretty pleased that uh, he's going to get part of his garden back again. Right. And no hard feelings. All right. Go on, give me that George. Cheers, mate. Thank you. All right.